all I'm gonna say is just be careful when you're ordering powder products online because let me just show you hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm here with a testing makeup video. I've decided to do like a little series on my channel where I test a different brand of makeup, hopefully every month. So I've bought a full face of makeup from Kiko this month. I've never tried any Kiko makeup before, so this is a completely new experience for me. I've not bought like any tools like brushes and eyeshadow curls or anything like that because I don't want an abundance of brushes and everything in my collection and I don't need them and I'm gonna see how it works with the ones that I use on a regular basis anyway it's the makeup I'm testing not the tools so I'm gonna get right on into it I've already moisturized my face so I hope you enjoy obviously the first thing that I'm going to be going in with is foundation and I picked up the universal fit hydrating foundation and as someone who has super super dry skin I'm hoping that this will be a good match for me. But the foundation just looks like this, very simple, and I'm gonna squirt a bit onto the back of my hand. I have no idea if this is the right shade. Mm. So I'm gonna be applying this with my damp Real Techniques sponge. I'm just gonna dot it over a couple areas of my face. It seems a bit orange. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it does look orange, let's just see. Mm. I think it was just the wrong colour for me. It does look a little orange on me. So for the foundation, it's not terrible. It's actually quite good. I just think it's the wrong colour for my skin. Like, look how different my face looks to my chest. But I am really, really pale on my chest. So just keep that in mind. It is a little bit darker, kind of orangey, but not as orange as I thought it would be when I was like blending it out. Um, and it hasn't dried my skin which is a major bonus for me because half the foundations I try dry my skin out so so much I would say it's a medium-ish coverage it's covered quite a lot of the redness and the darkness in my skin but it's not covered some of the like major spots like here and around my nose and a couple here as well so I'm hoping that the next thing that I'm going to be using will help with that so obviously the next thing that I'm going to be using is a concealer and this is the natural concealer and I got this in 02 because they didn't have the lighter shade I think um because I generally go for the lighter shade the one thing I will say is that I'm very disappointed in the size this is absolutely tiny if I compare it against the lasting perfection it is incredibly tiny I can already tell that it's so much darker as well um, and I go through one of these so incredibly quickly so I think just for the fact that it's so tiny and it's more expensive than this as well which I absolutely love I probably won't go back and buy this again unless it's like a miracle worker and I'm gonna put this under my eyes and on my spots um, but I do find that most concealers generally work for one or another so I think if it does work it's only gonna work for one of them it is definitely far too yellow for me I don't think this camera like picks up the colour just as well as it is and it doesn't pick up a ton of product on the brush it blends out easily nice and creamy actually it's not too bad on my under eyes isn't like yellow supposed to like cancel out the purple it's not too bad it doesn't look drying it looks really like in a sense moisturized I like that let's try it on the rest of my face though I can definitely see which one this concealer is more suited towards so I really really like this concealer for under my eyes I think it's really really good and it really does brighten it up and it does cover my dark circles but it's terrible at covering spots I don't know if you can see like here there's one here that's just not covered there's one around here not covered at all this area this area and I went over them twice um, it's definitely not one for covering acne and really really dark red spots because I don't like to use powder the next thing that I always tend to do is my brows I go back to my face lighter but I like to do my brows next and I decided to buy the precision eyebrow pencil in the shade 02 I'm hoping that this is a good shade for my brows I love a good brow product comes with a sharpener <laughs> I actually don't mind that it is a bit harder to use in like the inner corners especially on this one because my brows are very very sparse here 
Um, but it's not the worst brow product I've ever used. It's not my favourite either. It's a good brow product and I will definitely continue to use it. Just gonna prime my eyes with me Urban Decay Primer. So obviously the next thing that I'm going to be doing is eyeshadow and I had a bit of a predicament when I ordered these shadows. Obviously I placed a big order online for pretty much all of this stuff. And all I'm gonna say is just be careful when you're ordering powder products online. Cause, let me just show you. Oh my god, I just opened it and it went all over my lap. Oh my god. Well, this is what happened. It's just gone all over my lap. <gasps> what am I going to do? I can't stand up. It's all going to go over the floor if I stand up. <laughs> And then I also got another powder eyeshadow. Let's be a bit more careful with this one. This one didn't fare as bad, but it did crack. This one is definitely still usable though. So, so it's cracked all at the bottom. It's all come off, but I can definitely still use it and show you what I think. So yeah, I have this dark brown one that I can show you. And then I also bought this one, which I'm so, so excited to use it is one of their long lasting wet and dry use eyeshadows look how beautiful that looks i think what i'm going to do is put this all over my lid and then i might put this in the outer corner and slightly into my crease um, and see how they both work together so i'm going to start off with the wet and dry one i'm going to just apply it dry because i don't have any water near me um i don't want to mess it up and i'm using this brush from one of my naked palettes because i didn't really know what else to use so oh I like this. I wonder what it's like when it's wet as well. That is really nice. But it's really nice with this brush as well because it really packs it on. That is really, really nice. But I do look very dead at the moment. I need a bit more colour to my eyes. So I'm going to go in with the darker shade. I will blend this out. I will. <laughs> I like to like do both my eyes like quite messy and then just blend them out so it will look better than this there's definitely a lot of fallout especially on this eye there is a bit there definitely some fallout from the powders i actually don't have a color that i can just use to kind of clean it up so i'm just going to use a color from my tartlet palette i know it's cheating but i don't have one i'm just going to go back in with the concealer and just kind of clean the fallout and give it a straighter line as well so I do really like both of these shadows. I think they're super, super pretty. The wet and dry one is a really, really nice formula. Like it's so incredibly pigmented and I love how it just kind of glided onto my eyes. And the darker brown powder one is a really, really nice formula as well. It's not as pigmented and not as pigmented as like these like eyeshadows that I use on a regular basis, but it's a really, really nice color and it blends out easily. I would say though, if I was gonna use these, I wouldn't probably use them together or if I was, I would have to use at least another color or two just to kind of give it a bit more depth because it's a bit kind of boring. <laughs> um, but I do like them. They're really, really nice formulas and I could definitely buy more of them, especially the wet and dry ones. I am now gonna go in with the eyeliner and this is the Ultimate Pen Long Wear Eyeliner. I'm terrible at applying eyeliner, so let's see how this goes. It just looks like this, a kind of a pen and oh, there's the little nib on the end, just a normal belt tip. And I'm just gonna apply this to my top lash line. I'm not gonna do wing liner, I don't think, cause I'm terrible, but a thin line on the top will be fine. I am really, really, really impressed with this eyeliner. It's so easy to apply. I am terrible at applying eyeliner and I found that so easy. I think because it's a very pointed nib, like it's so thin at the end, but it's like really, really pointed. I don't know. You can really kind of work. It. I don't know how to explain this, um, but you can really just kind of glide it along so, so easily, so close to the lash line. It creates a really, really thin line and you can thicken it up. I think it would be really, really easy for winged liner if you can do winged liner. Um, I might try that at the end. I might do it at the very end and see if I can actually do it, but I don't want to ruin everything now. So I've now curled my lashes and I'm just going to go in with the Luxurious Lashes Maxi Brush Mascara. This is such a chunky like mascara tube. Let's see how this one works. I don't know whether this one is a lengthening or a 
volumizing so we're just gonna see when we go for it this is the brush that is such a chunky brush oh my god that's so chunky <laughs> definitely think that this is a lengthening one so I'm not overly impressed with this mascara it's definitely more of a lengthening one than a volumizing mascara but I have really really short kind of straight rubbish lashes and I need something that's going to give it length and volume um, and this just kind of gives it length and no volume whatsoever it is really good on my bottom lashes though because I don't like wearing too much on my bottom lashes I just like something that's going to kind of coat it make them slightly longer but not be like clumpy and everything like that so I definitely continue to use this on my bottom lashes because it looks really really good on those I would have to say I'm quite disappointed in this mascara it's not incredible now we are going to go back to my face and I'm going to be doing bronzer and I bought one of their Sculpting Touch Creamy Stick Contours. This is what it looks like. I've never used a contour stick or any sticks of any sort on my face, like blusher, highlight, bronzer. Um, it does look quite dark, so I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna work, um, but I think this was the lightest shade that they had. I'm not sure, it probably isn't, but, or it might've been the only shade that they had, so I might've just bought it. feel like I'm going to war. What? what do I do? I'm just going to put it down my nose because why not? I should probably just use my fingers but it's not too bad. It's quite light once you've kind of blended it out so you could definitely build it up but I like something that's a bit more kind of not in your face especially for like every day but you could definitely build this up. So I'm quite pleased with that bronzer. It's really creamy so it doesn't dry out my skin and it's quite a good colour match. It's definitely not too dark. It's just really light and you can definitely build the colour up but I've gone quite light and quite subtle because that is generally what I go for every day. Um, but I really, really, really like that. It's such a good contour stick. I then have a blusher that I'm super excited to try out. This is part of their multicolour blush range it looks like this very different packaging to everything else and it's number four blending wave multicolour blush and it just looks like this so it's like two different colours which I'll just mix together and oddly this smells like new shoes I don't know why I'm smelling blushes but this new blush smells like new shoes don't know how pigmented this is gonna be but let's see oh my god it's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. I wish this camera picked up the colours as they did in real life. I'll do a close up. I like that blush. It's not my favourite blush that I've ever tried. I don't think it's showing up very well on camera. Um, it's definitely more of like springy kind of summer shade which is good because obviously we're coming to that time of year. Um, but it is a really really nice blush and I will definitely be using this a lot more. I, I do like it. It's really good. It's just not my favourite. Going back to stick products, I also picked up one of their Radiant Touch Creamy Stick Highlighters. And I got this in the store and it was the only like highlighting products that they had. The other one that they had was like £25 and I wasn't spending that. Um, and I didn't realise how pink it was. It is literally like a blusher colour. But we're going to see how this works. I've never used a pinky toned highlight. So we'll see if this is any good. And I'm just going to smother my face in this. Well, not smother. Can you see that? It's really, really highlighting. I will blend it in more. I don't know if you can even see it whatsoever because the light outside is terrible. Um, I do really like this, definitely more on certain parts of my face. I really like it on my cheekbones. I think it looks really, really nice there. Really, really glowy. This is like one of the glowiest highlighters that I have and I love it. Um, it's not as good kind of like on my nose, kind of here, my eyes. It's very thick to use there, which is why I probably won't use it there again. Um, but I really, really love it on my cheekbones. I really, really like that. Now we are down to the final two products. The first one is an eyeliner. This is the Creamy Colour Comfort Lip Liner. And the last one is the Ultra Glossy Stylo Lipstick. I have two of the lipsticks. I have one in this kind of like ready colour, kind of like a ready berry toned colour. And then the other one in this neutral kind of pinky colour. And this is the one that I'm going to be using today because it from what I can see, matches the lip liner. So I'm gonna apply the lip liner. I don't wear lip liners a lot, so this might go absolutely terribly. This is in the shade 302. I'm just gonna apply this to my lips. 
So I don't mind the lip liner. It's not as creamy as I thought it would be. It was kind of dragging my lips along with it. Um, but my lips are super, super dry at the moment. Um, but I do like it. I'm just hoping that it kind of matches this colour. Hmm, it does. The lip liner in 302 and the lipstick in 803 match incredibly well together. I love the colour. I love pinky lipsticks. So this is perfect for me. It's glossy. It's very kind of sheer when you apply it. But if you keep going over, it definitely builds up. And it makes such a lovely, lovely colour. It's glossy. It's moisturising. It doesn't feel greasy. I really, really like that. So that is my finished makeup look, first impressions of Kiko. So out of all the products, my favourite ones would have to be the bronzing stick, the highlighting stick, the lipstick, basically all the sticks. <laughs> um, the concealer for under my eyes, but I won't be repurchasing that just because of the size of it. Um, I wasn't too impressed with the mascara, that was probably my least favourite, and also the concealer for my spots and things like that, it just did nothing, you can still see them, especially this one and the ones down here. Um, the ones that were alright but I won't be repurchasing again are the blusher, the eyebrow pencil, the concealer again, um, the lip liner, oh I, I really like the eyeliner as well, I completely forgot about that but I really really like the eyeliner and then the eyeshadows were good as well and I definitely will be repurchasing some of the wet and dry ones but probably not the powder ones again. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did remember to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe as well. Let me know what brands you would like to see in my next testing out different makeup videos. I would love to know what kind of brands you want to see me test out and I hope you all have an incredible day. Bye! I'm gonna see if I can do a flick. I told you I'd see if I can do a flick so we're going to try this eyeliner. We have discovered I cannot do winged liner. I was going for a subtle wing. It's a disaster.